Shalom guys, I hope that you are doing well. Thanks for joining for your daily reading. If you are returning, welcome back guys. Welcome back. Thank you for being a part of this channel. I appreciate you and all of that. If you are new, um, welcome to my channel. My name is Shannon and I'm glad to have you. Listen, my channel is a lot different probably than what you're going to run across on, on other readers. We look at a lot of criminal activity on this channel. The scripture is found in the tarot. I do have a Hebraic descent, so I keep all ten of the commandments. People call the great divine, the divine the universe and he's all of that I call him by a scriptural name which is Jehovah Elohim I have a video down below if you would like to see what his name looks like it's, it's very powerful he is um, to be honored and to be revered on my channel although I'm not church or religious either I just seek my father in truth and uh, uh, his word is the truth and he has a uh, beautiful um, mercy and grace that he wants us to walk in towards one another and and uh, face things that if we fall down we'll get up and not be afraid to, to you know fix something head on and uh, uh, Jehovah will get up and war for us because he's a, he's a Elohim of war not to start it to finish some stupid that's went down okay even if you've caused something he'll fix it for you if you'll if you'll confess something he'll turn something around for you um, because he's good okay uh, but anyway, he will get up in war and take vengeance uh, and um, fix something for you. And vengeance is his. And so when you go to him and ask him how to fix something, he'll tell you how, how to get your hands ready for war and, uh, and you know, give you direction. So my channel can be very intense at times because we do look at, you know, where we're at in history and criminal activity and things like that so that it can be uprooted out of the earth so that we can have a place uh, where, you know, predators aren't you know around you or your children or anybody else and um, anyway so if you say you stay if not then thanks for checking me out I'm not ashamed of Jehovah nor am I ashamed of his son that walked among us in the flesh whose name was Yeshua and uh, I love him and Jehovah is Yeshua and so this is who I am okay well anyway happy birthday if it's your birthday and happy anniversary if it's an anniversary Jehovah Elohim maker of heaven and earth I appreciate you so much I just run into your name because it's a strong tower and we're saved there and there's no other salvation outside of you Jehovah and you say that those who need salvation if they just call upon your name Jehovah that you you will bring um, a refuge for them and save them in in their your very present help in time of need is is what your word states and you really are and we just thank you for that uh, I just ask for you just come in here and reveal what needs to be revealed in this um, video for any given person you hold you you know all things you know every person is going to click upon it and um, you know what somebody needs to hear you know you just know everything and you're just everything to me and I, just, I appreciate you so very much so hold up give us wisdom knowledge and understanding what's going on here in this reading you hold a rebuke and bind and block every foul wicked dark energy right here right now and shove it down to the pit of hell where it belongs you hold a rebuke you thank you yes let me just say I just did about a 26 minute reading on my other channel and there was big time deep secrets somebody's carrying a knife somebody's got a mental problem because yesterday we have split personalities that came out on the channel today on my other channel we had the word somebody has a mental problem and it's here okay this card talks about uh, this is talking about psychic protection okay well we do have people who are in witchcraft type energy and trying to put their intentions on you and we had somebody sitting there in greed and stubbornness is as a sin of witchcraft because that uh, card was there and so we are dealing with people that they mentally just lost it okay and they try to put intention on uh, people and do some stupidness because we had somebody there trying to catch somebody up store them down in clay because there was a destruction in the last 24 hours on somebody that uh, the energy was being picked up on and um, so we, we have some type of protection or some people need to be protected by Jehovah uh, more than anything. So we're going to talk about this uh, protection here. Well, you are protected if you are standing in the truth and you'll face the truth. If somebody's got some stupid agenda to do some stupid and it ain't going to happen. No weapon formed against us shall prosper and every tongue 
stuff that rises up against us. We condemn it because this is our heritage. If you are keeping covenant with Jehovah, you have a heritage to condemn wickedness. It's trying to uh, put some type of an intention on you. There's protection out here around that. We did have the law showing up, and FBI was in that reading as well. We know that somebody's guilty of something because it keeps coming out. All right, you hold on. Let's just spread here. Thank you. All right. We have the Three of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands for the overall energy. You know, the Queen of Wands is somebody to get up, take action. Um, you know, she, if she's in the upright, she will smite with her truth with that wand there. Okay? This is spiritual energy. So, in the negative of this card, if it's dealing with another woman, and some people are dealing with somebody else, uh, because it was really big time there in that reading. Then somebody's dealing with some 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 other person. There's a spiritual person here, positive or negative. This energy will get up and fight either way. If you're in the truth with your spirituality, you will win. There are third parties showing up here. There's soulmates around some ordeal as well. If something did go down with some type of gathering or something, or somebody was having some drinks or something like that, then the Three of Cups is here. This is your soulmates uh, for some people. Um, then we have the Six of Pentacles. This is um, the skills of justice are found in the six of pentacles this is generosity somebody there was like a jewelry or a ring or something like that so somebody gave somebody a gift of some kind or paid somebody off somebody also is probably you know it's just known that somebody did some something that was not nice to somebody it came out in wordy and so somebody paid somebody off if you look at this picture somebody's got their hand out they're covered okay so there's been some type of secret payout um, within some ordeal because of a third party situation that went down for some of you all. Some of having to be protected by that. Then we got legal matters here because the scales are here in this picture as well. Okay, so let's see what's, uh, show me the past position, Jehovah. Thank you. <clears throat> now, the star was there for the next 24 hours. And so, you know, if you deal with somebody that's known, and the temperance card was there in the now as well in that reading. If you deal with somebody that is known, or something is known now, because the same house was in the last 24 hours. It was a tower. It was a destruction. And this is the pictograph of the mouth if you're new, and this would be the pictograph in the Hebrew of the sperm. And this represents somebody's husband. Somebody trying to get somebody's balance. You know, somebody spoke something. And this is speaking. This is blowing something. This is saying. This is exposure. If you deal with somebody who is known and there's spirituality here as well we had we had a preacher come out in wordy and yesterday we had that energy come out as well spiritual leader of some kind or an evangelist came out specifically yesterday we also have a school that came out today as well this goes back to teachers okay so whatever is here, uh, something's known about some type of balancing or reconciliation for a healing uh, within some matter. But there, you know, if, if there's been third parties, you are going to heal something in the last 24 hours, and then, then, then great. But if something exploded out of that ordeal, um, then. For some people, that it did. Okay, somebody had a hidden agenda because somebody's got a mental problem somewhere. All right, so we've got some type of reconciliation that is known about or has been spoken or something like that or some type of a balancing issue or temperance around some ordeal. Again, something's led here. Something's guided with the star, but that star is in the negative and somebody's out of balance. This is bad luck. Okay, because obviously we've got protection situations going on. At the bottom of the deck, we have some type of speaking, uh, manifesting stuff that you're doing with magic and stuff like that. And people are trying to do their stupidness and do these psychic crap, then that is here. This is, um, obviously, this is speaking as well with the um, third house you know, trying to produce something. If you are dealing with somebody in stardom that they're known, then there's a producer type of energy here. But there's spirituality here uh, with the magician. Um, if you are new, this is the Aleph head in the Hebrew. It represents somebody who leads clans of people. So somebody here is very much known. We got, you know, gossipy things down here with the Three of Cups can be uh, representing gossipy things. And the mouth is here and this is speaking and somebody getting up that's known that, that talks and things like that. Very skilled in what they do, laying down foundations. I can produce what I need to. Uh, but if that's manipulation, people, that's manipulation. Show me the now. Show me the now. 
give a lot of high arcana out here today, so the heavens are guiding something. You always got it all under control. Show me the now, Yosa. Thank you. The emperor is here. Well, that's war and stubbornness, and a boss figure would be that somebody was getting fired, okay, in wording as well. That caused some type of a war because there was a secret around some ordeal. There was another woman for some people. There was around somebody's husband. Does that go back to somebody's husband? We got protection here and protection here with the emperor. All right, work is here, okay? So we do have a boss. Okay, we have an older person for some people or just somebody experienced with the emperor, somebody known. Uh, the emperor can represent empire, so somebody that is known is also here. What's known at the top of the mind space, please? The emperor has a counterpart, so that would be a husband of some sort. Okay, what's known at the top of the mind space? Hold on just a second. I have another card that is... Um, that was the Eight of Swords. Somebody is in their mind. There's mental things going on. This is the head, the brain, the eyes. Okay, so some, some, something is here with that. Show me what's at the top of the mind space, please. You'll hold up. Great King of Glory. No one can tell it like you. We inquire at your hand and your hand alone. You'd like to tell us the things before it happens. Okay, so somebody is known. The Six of Wands is... Somebody's got a following. Somebody's in the spotlight here. And something's known. Some, it's known somebody either wants a victory. There's plotting going on. We've seen plotting yesterday as well. Uh, messages. That's eight wands. That's Cupid's arrows and things like that. Okay, well, there's been some type of war around a, a matter. There's two people that's plotting here. Maybe to travel or they did travel somewhere. Uh, we did have that energy that was coming out in that other reading that I just did as well. We see somebody picking somebody as well. So if there's some type of competition around a third party than it is, okay? Um, this card also showed itself for the next 24 hours. Again, so many things are going to rise up just as quick as they rise up. They're going to be put down, okay? Because the old man ain't going to have this crap. Somebody got a mental problem, okay? This is somebody, I'm tireless. I don't care. Here I come again. I'm going to come do something because somebody got a mental problem, okay? And some, somebody's in, into some type of stupidness around some ordeal. Somebody's been paid off to do something as well. Somebody said, your wish is my command. Well, that's crazy. There's been a war here. Okay, and if the emperor's in the upright, this upright emperor, so if it's sick for you to love, it's sick for you to love. Some of y'all just dealing with the third party, just don't like your connection, maybe just something out of your own home, has nothing to do with anything sexual or anything like that. There's just some type of family war, family business thing going down. Uh, if this if boss or father or grandparent or person that's in leadership is in the upright, he will take a risk and he will get up and fight and, and, and he will win it. Okay, we do have a victory. It's known somebody wants a victory. There's some type of a, a decision that, that's known about that's been at a crossroad with possibly two people to get a victory within some communication or something like that's out here. Show me the next 24 hours, please, for this reading. The Knight of Pentacles. This can go back to something finally arriving that's been going on for a long time. Okay, uh, it's also checking the details. It's uh, loyalty situations could be here as well. Okay, so we got business and we do have work going on here. Then this is something to do with work as well. Okay, um, there is a wish and there is a wish today because this also came out in, I think it was in the now. Somebody was there with a little uh, page of cup with fishy communication going on. We got third party here. For some people, okay, we got some. Somebody's got the skills over their head. If they're going to try to rise up and do some stupidness, then they will. There is a, a wish fulfillment though here. I want to take one more for the outcome as well. What else is for this outcome, Yehova? So that's positive. If you're in the positive, we have a victory. It's an it's a known victory. Okay, it's a known victory. It's funny that I made reference in that other uh, reading that you you know you don't have to be afraid of some stupid that's trying to do some ordeal around some war that's gone on. But I said that Yehovah had the whole world in his hands, and these two people got the world in their hands. Um, you know, if you're walking with Yehovah, then you do have the whole world in your hands. Uh, he'll take you places, people, that you never knew that you would even find yourself, okay? Uh, we have a redemption energy that's out here uh, within some matter. And somebody don't like that. I'm saying that because the word's out here in the Hebrew. Um, then there's been some type of competition around some ordeal. 
some juice. Show me the, the next 24 hours you hold on. We got protection, protection, protection. Somebody's protected. Jehovah's called the great I am. Okay, the I am is here. He, this is my father figure of the universe card as well. Okay, Abba, the, the true father, watches over his own. He don't lose. Okay, we do have a new beginning here in the next 24 hours. Uh, the torches here, and I always bring it out in the runes. It is something very scary. Skillful. It is illumination within some type of situation that is finally uh, arriving. That's been going on for some time. It is a justice assured rune when it comes out. Uh, it's overcoming something. It's also fortune here. Uh, something's very inspiring. Okay, somebody's been waiting and waiting and waiting. It's going to be able to go and and you know. Uh, do something. If you're dealing with somebody who's hoed around, then you are. Then you are. Uh, this can also have a meaning of waiting for a relationship. There's the Queen of Cups. She also showed herself in my other readings. So there'd be two queens and an emperor energy. Somebody's husband is here around some ordeal. All right, Jehovah, you tell it. Something about a vehicle is here, and a studio apartment is also here. Maybe you live in a studio apartment, so some, something around that energy is here. Um, cooperation needs to happen today. Okay, well, something's here. It, you hope I brought that out, I think, yesterday. Something about a rehab center. Yes, because somebody's got a mental issue. Somebody's got a balancing issues. Overindulging issues are here. Okay, so then the outcome, some new start is here around some overindulging energy. Somebody needs to go to a rehab, and that thing's finally arriving. Okay, somebody knows the top of the mind. There's some type of communication going down with two people, and there's a victory here. Okay, that's great. And cooperation needs to happen today. Okay, some type of plucking energy is here. If you're dealing with music, then you are. Then somebody plays a guitar, then we've got a pick out here. Um, if you're dealing with somebody who lives on a farm, we also got plucking feathers like a bird uh, type of energy. So, you know, just for some type of reference, as Jehovah's bringing it out here. Um, something something has been plundered. Somebody has gotten robbed. There has been violence here. Well, we got war energy here as well. That's why there's protection around some ordeal. Something about a wheelchair. If you deal with somebody who's in a wheelchair, or older or something like that, and then then it's here. Okay. Uh, somebody's widely known and very well respected. Again, we've got the emperor represents known energy as well. Okay. So somebody's widely known and well respected, and we have a fake preacher involved in some that's amazing because we had a, a preacher come out in a totally different deck okay and somebody's fake in their spirituality well they are we have a manipulator that we just seen as well eternal life so we got death issues around some ordeal as well uh somebody says i love you for who you are and it's this says it's truthful somebody in my other reading was saying i'm not ashamed of you but i asked the question is it truthful because we, we for some people because it won't be for everybody some people are going to be upright and truthful and they are protected in some type of communication and some people got a hidden agenda okay because we had death energies behind somebody as well somebody carried a knife and we just seen that stupid little knife that's tireless and it was showing there with the hermit that needs to have some type of a judgment put on some filthy dirty nasty person that's trying to catch some up in a net and they need healing they need to go to a rehab center because they got mental issues and all that okay somebody's saying i wish i just would have spoken to you when you walked by me okay well that came out the other day somebody gonna have some type of a conversation knowing that they need to have a conversation something went down started some type of stupid war because it just ignored somebody when they walked by and i guess that's what it's showing Heal something, people. This is inspiring energy in the next 24 hours for those who are going to be healed, okay, to get a wish fulfillment. Uh, we have the eye coming out here. This goes back to being calm and reflecting on something. And this is a victory over intrigues and vices. Again, we are doing somebody who's got vices on them. They do this is because they, 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 they need to re they, they just, they need to go away. They just need to go away in what they've done. So the eye is also seeing something. Uh, it represents ice. And so you're dealing with death issues. We have eternal life out here as well. And you're dealing with somebody who's also got their eye plucked out. You are, 
uh, it was really coming out. We have perception here as well, and uh, that's not all right, people. That is not all right. That's nasty, disgusting. Somebody got a freaking mental problem to do some type of ordeal like that. That's a gross person in the earth. That's a gross, nasty beast of a person to do some type of plucking somebody's eye out. You hope just keep bringing it out. Something's known about it. It's known about it. It's caused a war. Then it caused a war. Yehovah is going to make sure somebody gets put down in a very big way. Okay? So somebody got some vices on them. And so there's a victory over that today. And so there's a resistance and things like that. And somebody's protected. So that's, that's great. Okay? Let me take from this deck. Thank you, Jehovah, for your protection. Thank you for always bringing something to the surface that's been hidden, that needs to be known about. Thank you for getting nasty behaviors of people who do not want to come to you or be healed or can't be healed and shaking them out of the earth, just like you say. Is somebody going to be put down and be put in a wheelchair because some type of a war, uh, because it just won't stop? Because that little knife that just keeps rising up because they're tireless, they, they might find themselves in a wheelchair to be put down if that's what they want actually actually in one of the decks uh we had the spine come out okay well so if you are dealing with somebody who's either already in a wheelchair or some type of war in the now because of work, some type of working issues around an ordeal uh they won't quit they're just mental and they're just causing something then something may happen in some type of warring energy to put somebody in a wheelchair because it just won't quit. If Jehovah has to put somebody down that way, he will. He will. He'll stop the wicked. Somebody got vices on them. If he's got to put you in a wheelchair just to shut you up and to stop your stupidness, he'll do it. You don't have no fear for the great one. Well, I, I, I guess he'll just he'll just he'll just do what he got he's got to do. Okay, we've got a mother issue going on here. Something cycle after cycle after cycle is also here with the moon. This also can go back to romance in this deck. Um, shadows could go to fear, can go down to hunting and chasing and laying down an ambush. Uh, that's min that's uh, military talk as well in the Hebrew. This is using your intuition as secrets as well. This also being upright, righteous, and humble. And some people are and some people are not. Some people are deceptive. Okay? So, something very much emotional. Somebody got hidden int intentions, uh, people. They just do. The fox is treachery. There's treachery out here. Somebody got vices on them. They're cunning. They got hidden intentions and uh, they, this is employment. We got a boss out here as well. We got secrets and deception. Uh, we got somebody who's that needs to just freaking go away now. They just freaking need to go away now. Um, the tower is here. Well, the tower was here in my other reading as well. This is knowing something as well. This is government with the tower in this deck. It's time for something. It's time for stupid pride and ego to come down. This is a destruction in the in the tarot. Um, this is alterations to something as well. Well, if you're dealing with somebody who actually has a, a grandfather clock, that's here, okay? Um, anyway, that's huge. Something's going to come down on somebody. Somebody's pride and ego is here, okay? It really, really is here today, people. Somebody's got some freakish thing going on, and it ain't all right. It's just not all right anymore. It's time to take care of some stupid Give me some more cards for the outcome, Yehovah. We already know somebody's freaking guilty for something that they did. Okay. Also, the tower represents the eye. We got eyes out here. We got plucking. We already know about it, and there will be justice for that crap. There will be. Okay. So we got the wheel. We got a wheelchair out here. We got a whirlwind. Okay. We've got this is the, this, this also takes back to protection because it takes us back to the uh, letter Yod, which is the wheel uh, in the deck as well. It's Jehovah's arm. Okay. We have big time protection out here from some stupid idiot that said some nasty, freakish thing. All right. It's caused a whirlwind and everything else. Or you maybe you live somewhere where tornadoes can go through or something like that. But we've got the wheel coming out here. And that's travel energy as well so there's the aleph head which is the magician okay in the deck and we just seen it okay that somebody's just got strong power there's a leader of a family member is here okay somebody who leads clans of people somebody's known somebody's very skilled out here but somebody's a freak and somebody's got nastiness okay on them somebody is a fake preacher around some ordeal uh connected to somebody 
or there, there's just some spiritual person that's also been involved around some people. Some people are upright. Some people are not. Somebody is guilty. Yes, Jehovah just keeps bringing it out. Somebody is guilty. They will set their butt down in a wheelchair if that's what they've got to do. There's the letter R is also here in this reading. The rest, the head of something, the man, a boss is here. It's right here. The chief, at the top, at the beginning of something as well. So anyway, it is what it is. Um, wow. Well, this will come out, people. Until next time, shalom.